Hei kaveri, mikä tää paikka oikein on? You're in the land of potential. Anything you want is possible. And you may even find a tea room. Some nice English tea. Other than that, you may well find some extreme cyberpunk, as they call it these days, the children, in a venue tomorrow night. And, uh, welcome. Tervetuloa Brightoniin! If you want more hot water, cool. you can have a free refill. Oh, wicked, okay, thanks, you. Legend, cheers. What can you tell me about the Brighton music scene, like the rave scene and oh, yeah. electronic music scene? So, um, I've been a little bit out of touch with Brighton music scene in terms of the, the rave dance thing. Um, <clears throat> I do know that, that recently there's been a lot less outdoor events because of police regulation and control not allowing that to happen um, and the council as well. But um, there's still lots of events, like we had DJ producer last week playing in a club. Um, still lots of really good dance music going on. Um, today we were given a flyer for a French tech fundraiser. Joo, tuossa aiemmin tyyppi kadulla jako flaboja tämmösen uh, fundraiseriin tonne Ranskan heidän tota, Ranskan teknivaalle reissua varten. Yeah, so like I was finding it interesting that in the north of the UK people talk about um, what time do you want your tea, love? And I, f I think that's probably. We call it tea, uh, well, like, like dinner. It's probably. We call that's it tea. That's, I think that's probably wrong. I think it's a northern version of the rich person's tea time, which they would have had this. I disagree. Mm. We are. There's lunch. In the south, and there's dinner in the uh, in the north. Mm -mm. I was in the north of Ireland as well. Yeah. Mim calls it supper instead of dinner. She she says that you shouldn't call it dinner because that's what Northerners call it. Yeah. No, no dinner. No dinner's lunch time. <coughs> dinner is lunch. Yeah. Dinner's lunch yeah. time. No, no, that's what the kids always take the piss out of me because I always say, right guys, it's nearly dinner time. Like, you just want to stay behind for ten minutes, or you just yeah, want to get dinner time. Yeah. We have always take the piss time out of me. Of lunch. <laughs>
maybe you can tell about the uh, party concept first, what you were trying to achieve cool. on Friday. Yeah, so part of the thing with the magazine and the events that we do is that we like to mix genres together, have lots of stuff that shouldn't usually go together, such as dance music mixed with metal bands, and just have it all in the same night. So the idea is that people will be exposed to different things that are not normally, and uh, yeah, um, and learn about some new styles that they might not have heard before. How do you think this event went? This was uh, the first one in Brighton? Yeah, the first one in Brighton went really well, had about 50 people through, which was fine for what we needed. And um, yeah, I think it was, I think Brighton actually really liked it, <laughs> surprisingly. Brighton's quite pretentious when it comes to music, we generally quite like it nice and pleasant, whereas this wasn't nice and pleasant at all. It was really good. Do you have any future plans with this same concept? Uh, not just yet, but we will at some point. What do you guys uh, think about the party? Uh, we, we enjoy uh, <laughs> strong sex, gore, nudity, hard drug use and very strong language. All right. That's what we enjoy. Excellent. Sounds yeah, about right. Um, I think the party <laughs> deck went really, really well. Um, <laughs> so many different kind of genres all mixed together, all very different and it all just kind of meshed because they're all just very good at what they did and I'm very proud and very receptive of that. So um, It's very fun to make lots of noise um, yep, and just yelp into a microphone. It's, it's a good fun thing to do. <laughs> it's a good pastime, right? Yeah. Maybe lastly you can tell a bit about the magazine. This is currently on Rick's penis, and that's where it will stay. Uh, Actually, my, my hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we just have lots of different music from all backgrounds, uh, mainly more kind of interesting or abstract or slightly harsh edge music. Uh, fuck the rules with music. Really, that's the whole point of it. People are in very small little boxes quite often of what they like and stick to it and have clothing and identity associated to them little boxes. It's quite nice just to be like, right, fuck it all. Do whatever you want. Have like interesting music. Play speedcore and blast beats next to like a punk rock band or a metal band or whatever and just like cross over as much as possible. It works really well. It shouldn't, but it does. It also educates people into other genres as well. Things I wouldn't usually listen to, there'll be more kind of information on other things that are going on. So it's kind of nice. Uh, yeah. there, there is nothing better than having, you know, some guy that turns up uh, to go and see a punk band and he ends up seeing some fucking speedcore, um, you know, blast beats that he wasn't expecting. Yeah. So, you, know, you have some, some dude just I think like it's good to interrupt people's expectation. So like, you know, if people expect that they're going to a metal gig then they know what's gonna happen. They know there'll be lots of people with long hair and studded jackets and people throwing devil horns and you know it's very predictable it's all quite boring <laughs> yeah it's pretty boring isn't it? really. after a while it's quite boring but then if you like if you do it play some like 180 bpm dark sigh in between or after a metal band or whatever right. it's people people are actually having it more to, yeah. to the 180 bpm cycle yeah. that is going on rather rather than anything else yeah. that because happening. it's all like relative extremity because they weren't expecting it yeah and they're like well this is fucking nuts <laughs> this is extreme and then yeah you're like metal heads rocking out to dance music it's, it's good
mielestä löytyi jotain hyvin suomalaistakin. Mitä mökkeily? Factor no. distortion. The party was class. Did the party like uh, meet your expectations? Uh, yeah, it's probably better than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. How do you think like the uh, the crowd reacted to the party? Uh, it seemed to be quite a few people dancing. Everyone was seemed to be enjoying it. Like, mm -hmm. do you think it was uh, like good for a Newcastle party? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Thank you for coming here. Joo, se on teknoidi täällä jostain Nykästlen suht läheisestä kylästä. Kuten äh, näillä reissuilla yleensä kaikenlaista voi tapahtua, niin näilläkin kävi semmonen huonompi mäihä, että äh, Lontoon bileet peruntui. Mun piti ensin soittaa, olis pitänyt itse asiassa soittaa niinku Viikko sitten viikonloppuna olevissa bileissä missä olisi ollut backstage ja ne ollut vähän isommat uh, mutta sitten ne peruuntui jostain syystä mutta sitten mulla olisi ollut viime perjantaina keikka uh, eli just edes mennä viikonloppuna uh, Lontoossa semmoista vähän uh, enemmän kaveriporukka meiningillä ilmeisesti uh, mutta sitten nekin peruuntui mä on Kuullut paikallisilta vähän, että noissa meningeissä on vähän tämmöistä kaauksen makua, joten tällä kertaa en natsannut se. Joten sitten mä jäinkin Brightoniin viikon lopuksi ja mulla oli siellä keikka. Ja nyt mä oon täällä Nykästlen lähellä ja viime iltana soitin keikan tuolla Nykästlen keskustassa. Ja Sanotaanko näin, että täällä oli kyllä semmoista aitoa hardcore-meeninkiä, vaikka ei tota ollutkaan niin paljon yleisöä kuin siellä Brightonissa, mutta joka tapauksessa no, siinä mun keikan aikana Brightonissa ei ollut sitä porukkaa niin paljon esimerkiksi tuolla vielä, mutta se kuitenkin herätti kuulemma ajatuksia muutamassa ihmisessä, eli jos on ollut ajatuksia herättävää, niin se on aina ihan onnistunut keikka. Täällä Nykästlässä, niin täällä oli kyllä todella hyvin meni keikka. Jengillä oli hyvä meininki. Useimmiten jengi järjestää tällä tapahtumia tuollaisilla pienillä kubeilla. Tuo menee kiinni kello yksi tai kaksi yöllä. Tällä kertaa ei tullut sitä Freeport-kokemusta valitettavasti. Ei päässyt näkemään sitä puolta Englannista, mutta kyllä kuitenkin tässä tuli kaikenlaisia muita hyvin englantilaisia kokemuksia.